Hi everyone, this is Simona from Vector Twist. Today I would like to show you a quick tip on how to create a clover with really simple steps. So let's start right away. Here in Adobe Illustrator, we will choose the ellipse tool, and then we're going to create a circle on our artboard. Right now I have the fill and the stroke on, so let's turn off the fill. After that, we're going to switch to the pen tool. Then you press the Option or Alt key on the keyboard, and this will give you the anchor point tool. Now we press once on the bottom anchor point of our circle, and that will remove the handles. Then we're going to choose the Direct Selection tool, select the bottom anchor point that we've just modified, and by pressing the Shift key, we just pull it downwards. Now with the Selection tool, let's move it up a little bit, and then we go back to the Ellipse tool, we'll create two more circles. So I'm going to create another circle, approximately this size, and make sure you have your Smart Guides turned on. You can find those under View, Smart Guides. Then you want to move the circle onto the outer edge of your first one that you've just altered, and then we're going to create a copy. Now simply press the Alt or Option key on the keyboard, and then drag a copy over to the right. If you press then the Shift key, you can snap it horizontally into place. As you can see, the Smart Guides are really helping here too. Then we're going to select all of our three shapes, open up the Pathfinder panel, and then we're going to choose the Divide button. Then we're switching back to the Direct Selection tool. I'll select the top part here and hit the Delete button on the keyboard. Then with the Selection tool, we select everything again, go back to the Pathfinder panel, and choose the Unite button. Now we've created pretty much a heart. The heart shape really works well for a clover. And this heart shape we've just created with three circles. One we've altered an anchor point, and the others we made smaller and then used the Pathfinder panel. Then let's select the shape and let's rotate it. We need, of course, for a lucky clover, we need four of those shapes. So we're going to use the Rotate tool. Then, approximately on the bottom here, we're going to press the Aldo Option key until you see the little minus with the crosshair, and then click once. This will give us the pop-up of the Rotate tool. We'll set the angle to 90 degrees, check the preview, and then press Copy. Now with the shape still selected, we're going to press Command or Control and D to duplicate it. And there we go. In the next step, we're going to create two lines. We're going to cut our clover shapes here in half. So one line over here, and the other one horizontally. Since I'm using the Smart Guides, it snaps it right into the middle. Then I'm going to select everything and again press the Divide button on the Pathfinder panel. After that, we're going to open up the Swatches panel and we're going to fill our shapes with color. So I'm going to select all the left parts here with the Direct Selection tool and I'm going to choose a dark green. Then I'm choosing the other side. I just press the Shift key to select all of them one after one and then use a lighter green. Then we're going to turn off the stroke and then we're going to go copy and then paste in front. Then turn on the transform tool, press E on the keyboard and then shrink the shape down. Then you're going to select the dark parts again of your copied shape. You double click the color picker and set the color just slightly lighter. I'm using the brightness here. And then the other side, just select all of the shapes, double click the color picker and a little bit lighter in color. And here we go. You've created really quickly with easy steps a four leaf clover. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip here in Illustrator. And please come back to find out more quick tips with Illustrator on how to work faster with it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel either. I'll see you soon.